Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Probably not. It actually could a be a angle. angle. That's a DPS pick. That is a <laughs> That is. Oh, oh yes! no! <laughs> DPS pick! Jojo oh, yeah! Pyeongmin! There's a way that this could work out, but Blabber is already here to cover him. A nice slow setup from Insanity, at least trying to combo with what little CC abilities you have between Sion and Lilia, but Boogie might be forced to flash here. Oh, Blabber's the one that actually flashes to make sure he gets out of the Decimating Smash. The burn damage is the flash on attack, and our first ever Vayne mid in the LCS picks up first blood as Jojo looks to run down Insanity, tries to tumble out of the way of the Decimating Smash, forced to cleanse as Zazel's here for reinforcements, but Vulcan matches the roam as well. The handshake clips Insanity, forcing him to flash the Ignite. It's not enough because it's the last... If you do get fully queued by the sign, you're likely to go down. Almost got the Sap Magic passive auto there on the sign, which may be overall. Yeah, definitely. And it's gonna be right back up to top side. This is gonna be a six scrub game here, but C9 looking to try to get a dive on bot side. They need to get something, but not gonna be able to find a great Q. Zazel's not level six yet. He goes for the flash just in advance. Blabber trying to lock him out, but Berserker goes down. It's an absolute disastrous dive. Shopify Rebellion are the ones that turn it on its head. Oh. And it's a double for B-Boy. Cloud9 gets smoked on the bot They're gonna drag it at the very least off of this, and they do still have a compositional advantage, but now you've given the team a lead and a six. He didn't die. He, he has a kill and assist. It was a great TP down to bot lane to help turn around that dive. So he's more than done his job, and Fudge gonna be scrapping it out here with Fake God. Is forced to pop the ulti, so that's a win for Fake God, as he can just get that ulti forced uh -oh. and back off. But Cloud9, three-man dive didn't work last time. Now it's time for four. Well, this time, Azale, there's only one member, so this time things should be working out swimmingly, and the kill does go over to Vulcan. Maybe not the most ideal, but Cloud9 will still take that win. Mm -hmm. But look at all these grubs being spawned up in mid lane. Those Void Mites, because they got the six scrub take, and you get close, you spawn two per player in the area, so that just makes it that much harder. Vayne has no wave clear, so when you're pushed in, you're not gonna be dealing with this situation whatsoever. So he just has to give up the tower, and in top lane, Scion of mine. Sure, you committed four down to bot side, you did take the tower there, but you're gonna lose two towers as the price. 20 minute point, death timers are gonna be longer, there's gonna be larger windows where after a scrap or a fight, maybe the turrets are taken out completely as Fudge is now isolated, and it's Shopify Rebellion's own goon squad as Fudge is not getting out of there alive, and it's another kill that goes over Rebellion. So many ways to disengage this fight. Let's see how it goes down. Yeah, they have the Calista to try to get this cure. Fake God is behind them. We'll see if they can get it. Nature's Grasp already is proc. Vulcan takes a lot of damage, but Clean Smite from Blabber, and the disengage is there. Already the hostile takeover breaks Shopify Rebellion away from the rest of the fight, while Fake God, who was trying to move in for a flank, gets completely separated off. Fudge is forced to flash. Vulcan gets chunked out, but he's gonna go... Whoa, wait, wait a minute. The sleep from Boogie is gonna lock up two members from here. Decimating Smash Flash from Insanity catches a member from Cloud9 once again, Vulcan goes down, Jojo's down, Shopify Rebellion are turning this fight around, and Berserker's completely routed off. He's got nowhere to run. This should surely go over to them as well, unless maybe Berserker can get some movement speed from this cloud map. Execute, probably. He's going to look for the XQ. We'll see if he actually has the timer. He can queue over the wall here. Uh, is he going to get hit? Okay, guess he's going to get hit. No, oh, man, another kill for B-Boy. You don't throw away those chances. You just take with what what you're given. And B boys almost 4K. Uh, Harold's gonna crash, and because they were driving it, look at the, all those void mites that spawn. It's two for every um, grub that you took. Like that is an army of void mites coming forward here. We do have Jojo taking that tower up on top side, but they just have such poor wave clear here from the Cloud9 side. Like they've got nothing, right? Like they can't really clear out this wave at all. Kalista and Aatrox are your wave there against the Siege? That is brutal. They're gonna have to use the Maokai just to try to hold on, and Jojo's coming back, but they just used the Breath of Life there from Zazel to cleanse it off, and B-Boy stepping forward. That turret is gonna go down on the next wave unless Cloud9 can do something about it. They're also losing their mid lane tower to the Udyr, so they are getting kind of rocked on the map right now. Yeah, the Mites are marching in, almost a pre-20 tower. Boogie is forced to use the Lilting Lullaby to disengage. Already the Hostile Takeover keeps them in line as well as the rest of Shopify Rebellion now have to retreat. Multiple members of Cloud9, but as I say that, the burn damage from Boogie is forcing Cloud9 back into the- JoJo's trying to heal up off that top wave and get down here. Cloud9 cannot afford to give this up. The TP's coming in. It's up to this fight right here, right now. 7,000 HP. 
Blabber does not have flash, so he's gonna have to walk up if he wants to make this steal. They turn, and they look for the knockup. Vulcan is completely taken out, doesn't even get a chance to pop the hostile takeover. Fudge is doing so much damage in the back line, but the Breath of Life gives them more HP on the backside as well. Boogie is keeping them alive, the Lilting Willow by connects. Berserker goes down, Jojo Pion in the 1v4! Can do anything against them! Boogie is tearing it up on this Lilia, but Blabber's the only one left alive. And because multiple members of the game can be a little weaker in skirmishes and prolonged fights, but once you get to this point in the game, she really feels like super... So instead, they just start the bear and they say, you got a TP or we're gonna finish. So they force the TP, now they back off. Jojo in a bit of an awkward spot. Cloud9 run on the run. Yeah, Fake God already popped the ghost, forced Fudge to flash. Jojo Pion has already been slept up by Boogie, and now the rest of the members are on the retreat once again, looking for another swirling seed. Oh, no, no, Lilting Lullaby was never cast, that's my bad as well. Blabber and Vulcan get caught out once again, and Shopify Rebellion are just running over Cloud9. Honestly harassing Cloud9, they get multiple kills, they're gonna get the bear, and now Cloud9 very close. Was they be playing from an advantage, Shopify would be forced to engage into them and try to fight through Fudge, but that's just not the way it's going, because Cloud9, you know, got behind, and now they're kind of just forced to play you know, these guerrilla tactics trying to run around the map, trying to clear out waves, trying to knock down towers where they can. But look at this this push going in towards the Nexus towers already. Guys, Cloud9 the base. though, they could find an angle here. This could maybe be bad for Shopify, but B-Boy! Oh, he takes out Jojo Pion, the vein is gone. Fudge is completely routed off from the rest of Cloud9. He's doing everything he can, but everything that he can is just not enough to hold Shopify Rebellion from claiming what they want. The rest of Cloud9 are left to scraps. They've got nothing left in the tank. The Lilting Lullaby puts them to sweep as the dosage of Nightwell takes them out of this game. Shopify pick up their first win against the ever-dominant Cloud9. And you can see how happy they look. Fake got ecstatic on the player comms there.